we see our reality by choice. The challenge is to look internally, intuitively, and choose a different perspective. Our reality picture is defined by the focus of our awareness. We focus our awareness on the world around us as perceived through the five senses, and we now know how limited that is. Have you ever seen a young child watching a film and believing it to be real? Only when we take our focus of attention off the movie screen can we understand that it is just an entertaining distraction and that life is represented by a much greater reality. Why is perception a done thing, a closed phenomenon? We believe we have all the answers. Intuition is never used anymore. Imagination is made up stuff instead of the creative arm following intuition. What if, when looking at the stars in the night sky, that they were not points of light on a dark background, but holes in a dark blanket over a background of light? What if we were actually seeing a reflection of the white light beyond the darkness of the sky? We look at the emotional senses, and in the majority of cases, we accept, allow in, the nice, favorable, love-based emotions but suppress, frustrate, and don't deal with the fear-based emotions. On the mental plane, we consistently use our mental reasoning to identify and confirm situations, but the brain we now know is basically just one large computer, a database storing various judgments, characteristics, and traits. Like a computer, it can only throw back what has already been programmed into it. And so we have already programmed in our interpretation of a particular experience. Then when we experience similar situations, the brain automatically accesses the judgment from the storehouse memory. For an example, look at public speaking. If you ever tried it and got into a bother or a muddle and felt embarrassed, you may then have registered with the brain that this experience of public speaking is nerve-wracking, potentially embarrassing and not pleasant. So every time you get up to speak, no matter how prepared you are, you will have these feelings. The eventual outcome will mirror your expectation. So our reality is defined by our perception, which is just our focus and interpretation of experiences. Take two people, for instance, who witness the same sunset. One perceives it as just the sun going down. The other is one of the most beautiful, magical and magnificent phenomenons. What's the difference? The focus of the perceiver. Fully uncompromised conscious awareness is what is required to accurately perceive of this world. Perception has to encompass all of who we are, every plane, and we have to retrain our perceptive awareness at all of these levels. The result will be an unequivocal, boundless, perceptive awareness of consciousness, which will not only include our own individual consciousness, but universal consciousness, which is in all of us and in everything, and we, an indivisible part of the whole.